quickly gather, organize, and access the plates you need for an entire flight using flight binders in the plates view. Featuring a streamlined workflow and major time-saving automations, flight binders simplify both your pre-flight planning and in-flight access to procedure plates so you can focus on flying. Start by tapping the Binders button in the top left of the Plates view to expand the Plate Binders drawer, which lists all flight binders at the top, followed by other binders. Any binders you had before updating for flight to version 13.2 or above will appear here with all of their plates intact. Tap Add Other Binder to enter a name and create a new empty binder. Tap the Binder Edit button on the right to rearrange or delete plates from the current binder. And tap the Binder Drawer Edit button to its left to rearrange, delete, or rename entire binders. You can also swipe to delete any binder from the drawer without entering Edit Mode. Unlike other binders, flight binders are always based on a departure and destination airport pair. When you add a new flight binder, ForeFlight will automatically suggest airport pairs based on any currently entered route on maps, as well as the nearest upcoming route planned on flights, with other flights planned further in the future listed below. You can also add an empty flight binder and select the airports manually, or tap Import to display the suggested routes again and automatically populate the current binder with new airports. The Send To menu on Flights also includes a new Plates option, which will create a new flight binder based on the flight's route. While other binders have no inherent organization, flight binders are highly structured and consistent, grouping plates of the same type together for each of the selected airports. Tap either of the airport buttons on the left at any time to search for a new airport or select one from various recent and favorite lists around the app. The plate groups below each airport follow a roughly chronological order. For departure, airport and taxi diagrams, departure plates, approach plates for a return to base scenario, and miscellaneous plates. For destination, arrival plates, approach plates, airport and taxi diagrams, and miscellaneous plates. The number shown on each plate group represents how many plates have been added to the flight binder for that group. Those without a number have no plates added. Tap on any empty group or tap twice on a non-empty group to review and add plates within that group. Tap on any plate name to view it without adding it, and tap the circle on the right to both view and add it to the binder. Tap again on the right to remove a plate from the binder. After adding all the plates you want within each group, swipe with three fingers to move through them plate by plate and group by group. When you import a route from the maps or flights views, ForeFlight will automatically add the plates associated with any procedures in that route. If you instead set the departure or destination airport manually, then ForeFlight will automatically add whichever plates were last added for the same airport, helping you build out your flight binders quickly no matter which method you use each time. All other aspects of the plates view work the same as they did previously. The settings button in the top left provides a screen brightness slider and an option to invert plate colors for easier viewing at night. Tap the Recents button to see a list of all recently viewed plates, and tap any of them to display the plate again. If the airport associated with the recent plate is included in the current flight binder, then ForeFlight will jump to the appropriate group to display the plate. If the airport is not part of the current flight binder, then ForeFlight will display it in full screen until you tap Close to return to the flight binder. Tap the Pencil button to enter Annotation Mode and mark up the plate with a variety of shapes and text options. Tap the Rotate button to rotate the plate by 90 degrees. 
tap the send to button to print the plate or overlay it on the map if you have a Pro Plus subscription or above, and tap the lock button to disable gestures on the plate such as swiping and zooming. If you wish to also disable all buttons on the screen, you can search for lock in more settings to change the behavior of the lock button. Tap the screen while viewing a plate to show or hide the toolbar and instrument panel at the bottom of the screen. Like on maps, you can tap on any instrument to select a new one. Tap the red Notams button at the top of the plate to view any Notams that are relevant to that procedure. With flight binders saving you significant time and effort gathering all the plates you need for a flight, you can focus less on staying organized and more on getting to the runway.